Hi guys, it's Minette from EarlyLearningMom.com. I thought I would just come here tonight and show you guys how I organize my lessons from the Institute. I went to the Institute at the end of September to, and took the What to Do About Your Brain Injured Baby, Brain Injured Child course. And this is what I have set up. Basically, I have this spreadsheet and it goes over, it's basically a checklist for everything that we're doing. So we have our crawling goals, creeping, running to the mailbox and back, and that's our physical program. And then we have our reading program, which is single words, sentences, and homemade books. I also have the visual stimulation program, which is basically the same thing as what they teach you in what to how to teach your baby encyclopedic knowledge. Then we have the auditory stimulation program and the tactile stimulation program. Um, somebody on our forum had mentioned how do you keep all your, well not specifically to me, but to other um, parents, how do you keep your bits in order? And what I do is I have five homemade books going on the go all the time. And what I do is in the top corner here, I write the date we started, and every time I read the book, I give it a check. Once we have, uh, or a tally mark, once we have 10 tally marks, this book is retired and it is replaced with another one. Um, and inside the cover, what I do is I take our um, single words, which I have written down the word at the back of the card, the date we started, the tally mark showing how many times we've done it so I know when to retire them and what set this belongs to. Um, right now we're going through Halloween words and I'm trying to, right now I have five sets of Halloween words. Um, today I just condensed um, it down to four sets because Halloween will be wrapping up and I want to start introducing some different types of words. The next words I believe I have set up our bathroom words. So, you know, items in the washroom. So what I do is I have that set in the duet hang. And then I have our encyclopedic knowledge. Um, this is countries of Europe, countries and flags. This is one set that we're doing. We have a few others that we're working on. So that would go in here. And I also have our sentences, so I would um, put these in as well. So for one sitting, what I land up doing is I have little Z crawl to our bench in his room. So we crawl from the living room to the bench. We do our session there. And I also do the um, auditory stimulation, which I have a playlist on my YouTube um, channel of environmental sounds that I have found online. I plan on finding a few more so we can mix it up a little bit more but we do three, we listen to three of those for 30 seconds each. Sorry, no, 30 of, <laughs> apparently I'm having trouble tonight. We listen to three of them for 20 seconds each so for a total of a minute and then we have our, audit, our tactile stimulation, which we've just started, where we use different materials and provide a contrast. So I'll rub it on his arms, his legs, his tummy, and his back, and I'll tell him, well, this is rough, or this is soft, or, you know, and then we check off. Then we crawl back to the couch, and then we might crawl to the washroom. And so I've measured out places in the house and we try to do um, 20 meters a session, which would get a check mark. So if we went from his room to the couch, back to his room, back to, wait, no, his room to the couch, back to his room, and then back to the couch would equal the 20 meters and he'd get a check. So we need to do that six times a day. So what I do is I have, like I said, five duotangs with homemade stories in it and all our programs for one sitting. And I will grab one, set it up in his room, and then we do a session. Then I go and I check all of them off on our checklist and on the back of the cards. And this goes to the bottom of the pile. We grab the next one and do the same thing. So I have one tally sheet per day and that allows me to um, go through it and see, you know, how things are going. 
I know exactly how consistent I'm being and when we decide to go have an evaluation done at the institutes, I have all these tally sheets to show them what we've done. So that way they can make um, any adjustments based on that. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the question box. Like, subscribe, and let me know if there's anything else about our program that you'd like more information about. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my blog, www.earlylearningmom.com.